The other week I tried driving the Daihatsu Kopen in this game, and it was one of the worst experiences. Well, no, it was nowhere near one of the worst experiences of my life. It wasn't even anywhere near one of the worst experiences I've had in this game, but it was a pretty poor experience because I got rubber banded on the final lap. This time, I'll only have one opponent to deal with, so we can go with another shitbox uh, that you see all the time in England. At least th with this one, it's not debadged all the time, so you can actually tell what it is. This, uh, this game allows you to take road cars off-road, so we're going with the Ford Ka, uh, which is filed under Pacific cars instead of Europe for some reason, even though I'm dead certain that the, uh, the Ka was a, um, a Ford of UK model, but whatever, that's fine. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people make mistakes. For example, the people behind Gran Turismo make mistakes a lot of the time. They made Gran Turismo Sport, you know, you just have to, sometimes you just have to forgive is the, uh, the lesson we're going to take away from this. So, welcome to a race that's going to take literal fucking years, and the joke of picking the car is already worn off. But hey, at least it's not Tahiti Maze, am I right? Because this guy is... Alright, well first of all, this guy is disappearing off into the lead for some reason. Which is concerning. Secondly, I, I have to do three laps of this track, and it's been 30 seconds already, and we've only gone around like one corner. <sighs> Maybe this wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't uh, run out of commentary last week. But I did. So, uh, so this one's going to be a struggle. I might quit out and pick a Subaru or something. Would anyone blame me for doing that? Would, would people get mad? If I just want to... Oh, wait, wait. I've taken the lead. Okay, maybe I don't need to go and pick a Subaru. Maybe we can make this happen. Well, welcome to the, uh, the making this happen podcast. I am your host. I should definitely have changed my channel's name to Lurkio by now. So I'm your host Lurkio. Um, and today the, the new topic I want to talk about is because I talked about Onrush in my recording session last week, or Onrash as I'm calling it. Um, I learned that you could take uh, these cars off-road by leaving this game uh, open on the main menu for too long and getting through a bunch of the, uh, the preview races and one of them was, uh, was this this car on this track and I thought I want to try that and now I regret wanting to try that because it's shit I thought it would be fun but I was wrong I think I'm gonna after I'm done with this race uh, I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna say done uh, driving the shitboxes of this game, and I'm just gonna drive the uh, the fast cars, just a steady diet of, of fast cars until uh, until we're done. There'll be plenty of time for driving shitboxes in Gran Turismo 3. Actually, I've thought of something I can talk about. Every time I try and do something with Gran Turismo 4, okay. Anything to do with Gran Turismo 4 always backfires and turns out to be shit, you know? I've tried buying the actual disc for Gran Turismo 4 twice and neither time has my PS2 read it. And just this week I bought Gran Turismo 4 Prologue. Wait, let me, let me talk about the other letdowns. Uh, Tourist Trophy, you know, Gran Turismo 4 but for bikes, is kind of a letdown because the racing isn't interesting and there's not nearly enough actual events to do. Uh, this game is kind of disappointing because again there's not really that much content. Although it's not really, it does, this game doesn't really have that much to do with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 apart from like one or two tracks and a couple of cards. Uh, 
And then Gran Turismo 4, I bought, doesn't read. Gran Turismo 4 Prologue doesn't read. Well, and Gran Turismo 4 doesn't read. So that's why Gran Turismo 4 is the worst game in the entire Gran Turismo series. You know, Gran Turismo Sport is down there as well, but 4 is pretty poor. Purely because I can never play it. I'll never be able to play it. And that's sad. Because a lot of people think it's the best one. But I've been forced to disagree. By, you know, forces outside of my control. I also bought F1 2002. But I'm too lazy to try and figure out if that game works or not. Because it's got a blue disc. And I'm, I've been too lazy for the last couple of days just to flip my PS2 over. I was going to buy uh, Dave Mira's freestyle BMX, but I decided to, uh, to save my money. As you might have seen on the uh, Google document I have uh, knocking about, my, uh, my plan for the future is, because there aren't actually that many uh, motorbike racing games out and about there, uh, I decided that after, I'm, after I've got through all the bike games, which won't take very long, because not only are there not many bike games, they don't take very long to play. I mean, you know, uh, Grand, the, the Tourist Trophy, the Grand Trophy my 4 for bikes, um, barely has anything in it, and that was like biking's best chance at having a game that takes decades to play. So, you know, I mean, the, the Milestone games, Ride, the Ride games might take a little while, but, you know, not too, too long. Nothing, nothing ridiculous. And I'm almost done with the uh, the longest TT game as well. So you know, sad times at uh, at Wayne Manor. So when I'm done with all the bike games, I'm gonna play extreme sports games. You know, Tony Hawk, uh, Dave, uh, Matt Hoffman, Pro BMX, that kind of thing. Because I've been on a kick of that stuff recently, and I really want to play those games because they're supposed to be good. And I saw both Tony Hawk's Underground 2, I think, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skate 3 in the shop when I was buying Prologue in 2002. And really, I feel like I wasted my money buying Grand Theft Auto 4 Prologue and F1 2002, because I'm not even that interested in F1. I should have got the Tony Hawk games. Can't believe I didn't. Such an idiot. So that was half of this fucking episode spent doing one race. I'm sorry. It was a shit decision, I won't do it again. Hey look, a Ford Focus I already won by doing course licenses. Well I'm glad that I didn't do that race just in normal difficulty, you know, to unlock a car that I already had. Because that would have made me really angry. Hey look, a Pontiac Solstice. Didn't expect that. There's someone at the door. Give me a minute. I had to retrieve my mum's purse from one of my mum's friends who came to uh, drop it off. Nothing happened. She's not very attractive. Neither my mum nor her friend. Which is, which is unfortunate, but what can you do, eh? Racing cars. Let's pick a rally car. You know, it's Tahiti May, so it's going to take fucking decades to do. And I'm not touching it with another Hyundai Accent. Hear that much? Oh, no, it was the uh, it was a Mitsubishi that I struggled with. The Hyundai wasn't actually that bad. Let's go for the uh, go for the 22B. I think it's a 22B. It looks like a 22B. I would call it a 22B, and everyone would have to agree with me because I'm always right. I am going to destroy this cunt 
in his Mitsubishi CZ3. Just what? That thing was not that fast when I drove it. Either that or this uh, this Subaru is underwhelmingly slow. Get out the way, you shitbox wanker. There we go, destroying him. Because the Mitsubishi CZ3 is probably my least favorite car of all time. Pretend, uh, pretend you didn't notice the camera clipping through the wall there. We, we need to pretend that this game is of very high quality. Actually, no, we don't. It's Gran Turismo. There's no need to pretend it's of high quality because we all know it's not. Da -da 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 -da. They just stuffed as much stuff in there as they could. And in terms of this game, as much stuff as they could actually wasn't that much stuff. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I need to stop whinging. I need to stop getting PTSD fucking flashbacks of the uh, the stuff that's happened in, in my past. My dark past that I have with this game. And just get a move on and get it, get it over and done. Because, you know, for as, for as much as like um, everyone, everyone likes to see a good old bit of Gran Turismo. No one wants to see Gran Turismo concept. The only views I got, the only views my channel has are from um, GT GT3 videos, the ones that I started out with. And I'm I'm too much of a puss, pussy, uh, chicken shit, to uh, to delete those because I don't want to see that um, my view counter go down. You know. So I'm, gonna, I'm leaving those up until I have a, uh, a series that's as successful, which I don't think will ever happen. So those will be up forever, even though, you know, after episode 50, they're never going to go anywhere. Once I do go back to playing Gran Turismo 3, you know, it'll probably be on my second channel. Nah, fuck it. I'll just delete the, um, the ones I have on this channel and do them again. I don't give a heck. I don't give a I don't give a hippy hoppy heck. I'm too cool for school, man. Guy. I'm sure no one will mind anyway. I mean, it's only it's only one teensy weensy little Grand Theft Auto Three uh, series. It's not a big deal. I'm I'm just praying for someone to tell me not to delete them so that I don't have to, so that I can keep that um total channel views number up nice and high where I want it. Not that I don't get views on my other videos, you know, the TT Superbikes ones, uh, they don't necessarily draw a crowd, but, you know, the number is usually in the double double digit, which is nice. Um, Need for Speed gets a handful. Um, Radio Sport Challenge, not so much, but I enjoy playing that game, so that's fine. My original Radio Sport Challenge videos have, like, tons of views, so... That's part of the reason I want to finish the original Rider Sport Challenge. The other is to like finally get it off my conscience and know that even though that game bested me, I came back and bested it. That's what I want out of finishing Rider Sport Challenge. A game that I hate, but I'm going to make sure I prove to it that I'm better. Because I proved Gran Turismo concept that I was better uh, with that um, challenge in the Mitsubishi CZ3 and the challenge in the uh, Nissan GTR concept actually. I proved that I was the best driver, I was better than the game. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to prove I'm better than a whole bunch of games that uh, I found difficult. I mean, come on, it's just a game. How hard can it be?
Um, um, well, now I really have run out of a uh, run out of discussion topics to talk about. So, uh, I was going to say I can't really comment on the game uh, because it's disappointing that the, uh, the CZ3 is so far behind that I'm not actually racing it. But after thinking about that for a second, I've decided it's a good thing that I don't have to put up with racing the CZ3. Because doing the challenge in that thing was unnecessarily difficult because it's a slow piece of shit. So I don't want it to be keeping up with me, you know, and taunting me that it could have been fast, but because I was driving it, it wasn't. You know? You, you uh... You see where I'm coming from with that? So I'm going to collect my prize and end this week's episode. Can we get a thumbnail? There you go, that's good enough. I'll just use that for all of these, uh, all of the episodes from this, uh, from this recording session. Another NSX, which I probably already have. Oh, I didn't have the mobile one. Uh, car, so I guess that's like slightly okay. And a Ford GT, I already had this. Unless it's not in the Golf livery. Okay, yeah, it's just in a regular car. But still, you know, I, I already had one of those. I already had one of both of those cars, man. So who cares? Who gives a heck? Even in, even in fucking, even in Ford Racing, Ford Racing 2. Ford Racing 2. You know, the different livery of, uh, of a car you could get by pressing a button. You didn't have to unlock the next livery separately. You know? Or whatever. Next week, Autumn Ring. And with that, we'll have done all of the regular way round uh, tracks. And, uh, and we'll be well on well on our way to uh, the, the the reverse ones, which puts us halfway through this section of the game, and uh, oh, halfway through the recording session. How convenient! 